Are you over 40 and an introvert? Are you tired of the corporate grind, constant meetings or draining social obligations? Imagine building a successful online business that lets you work from home on your own terms without draining your energy. In today's video, I'll share some of the best online businesses for introverts over 40, each offering more freedom, flexibility and the opportunity to thrive online. And just very quickly, if you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. I can only help you if you are subscribed and please hit the like button because that really does energize me to create more content for you. Thank you very much indeed. Let's jump right into this tutorial. Let's get started with tip number one, which is freelance writing. Freelance writing is perfect for introverts who enjoy working independently. Many companies are in constant need of content for blogs, articles, newsletters and much more. With platforms like Upwork.com, Fiverr.com and Freelancer.com, you can start small, build your portfolio and expand your client base over time. Plus you can write from anywhere and communication is mostly handled via email. The beauty of freelance writing is that you can pick a niche that you're passionate about, whether it's health, technology or lifestyle. For example, if you're knowledgeable about health and wellness, you could write blog posts for fitness websites or create ebooks for clients in that niche. With time, you can command higher rates as you specialize. Let me tell you about another advantage. Writing allows you to stay in your comfort zone. No need, no need for face-to-face -face meetings or no draining social interactions. Just you, your ideas and a computer. It's a very scalable business to once, you're, to once you're established. You could even subcontract your work to other writers. Let's now move on to tip number two, which is a virtual assistant. Virtual assisting is another excellent option for introverts over 40. Many business owners need extra help with administrative tasks such as managing emails, scheduling appointments or even organising files. As a virtual assistant, you can help them remotely or while maintaining control over your working hours. I recommend that you can start small by offering services like inbox management or customer support. As you gain experience, you can add more specialised skills like bookkeeping, social media management or even project management. This flexibility means you can tailor your services to your strengths and your interests. Now one of the best parts, virtual assistants typically communicate via email or messaging platforms like Slack or Zoom. So the amount of direct interaction is very minimal. This makes it a perfect business for introverts who prefer structured written communication over verbal exchanges. Let me now give you tip number three which is selling digital products. For introverts who love creating but don't want to deal with customers directly, selling digital products is a dream business. You can create and sell ebooks, printables, online courses or digital art on platforms like Etsy, Gumroad or even on your own website. Once the product is made, it can generate passive income without constant engagement. For example, if you have some expertise and knowledge in personal finance, you could create a series of budgeting spreadsheets or financial planning guides and sell them online. Once uploaded, all you need to do is market them occasionally. With good SEO and marketing, your products can sell consistently without much ongoing work. Digital products require upfront effort but minimal ongoing interaction. You won't have to worry about shipping or handling customer complaints. It's an ideal business for introverts looking to combine creativity with passive income. Let's now move on to tip number four which is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is an excellent business model for introverts who enjoy research and writing but prefer staying behind the scenes. With affiliate marketing, you promote other companies' business and businesses' products and services through content like blog posts, reviews or videos, and you earn a commission when someone makes a purchase through your unique referral link. I recommend that you start by choosing a niche that interests you and has a lot of demand, like technology, fitness or home improvement. I then recommend you create highly valuable content around the products that you are promoting such as in-depth product reviews or comparison articles. For example, if you're into technology, you could write reviews on the latest gadgets, embedding affiliate links for readers to buy the products. 
The beauty of affiliate marketing is that you don't need to handle products or deal with customers directly. Most of your work is creating content and strategically placing affiliate links, making it a low stress and scalable business. Let me now give you tip number five, which is online tutoring or coaching. If you have a background in education or specific expertise, online tutoring or coaching is a great business for introverts. You can teach or mentor, mentor people in subjects that you are passionate about, whether it's maths, writing or career coaching, all from the comfort of your home. One-on-one -on -one sessions or small group coaching often involve minimal interaction beyond the actual lesson or coaching session. Platforms like Wiseant, Teachable or Thinkific allow you to offer your services online. You can even pre-record lessons to reduce live interactions if you prefer. For instance, if you're great at helping people improve their public speaking skills, you could create a video course or conduct one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions over Zoom. With online tutoring, you control your schedule, your clients, and how much you want to interact with others. Let's now move on to tip number six, which is self-publishing. If you love writing but want to create something more lasting, self-publishing could be the perfect business for you. Introverts often have deep, reflective thoughts, which is perfect for writing fiction, non-fiction, or even children's books. Platforms like Amazon Kindle, Direct Publishing, KDP, make it very easy to publish and sell your work globally. You can write at your own pace and release your book when you're ready. For example, if you've always dreamed of writing a historical fiction novel, this could be your opportunity. The only interaction you'll need is with editors or cover designers, which can often be done through email or project management tools. The best part, once your book is published, it has the potential to generate passive income for years. Plus, marketing can be done online through social media such as Instagram and TikTok, or Facebook, or through blog posts requiring minimal direct interaction. Let me now give you tip number seven, which is drop shipping. Drop shipping is an e-commerce model that allows you to run a business without holding any inventory. You simply set up an online web store and when a customer buys a product, the supplier ships it directly to the customer. This means you can focus on marketing and customer service while avoiding the hassle of stocking and shipping products. I recommend to choose a niche that excites you and that has a lot of demand, whether it's eco-friendly products, pet accessories or tech gadgets. With platforms like Shopify and Oberlo, setting up a dropshipping business has never been easier. You just need to focus on finding reliable suppliers and marketing your store to the right audience. Communication with customers is often limited to emails or online chat making it an ideal business for introverts. You can automate many aspects of the business and scale it over time without needing to interact with customers face to face. Let's now move on to tip number eight, which is blogging. Blogging is one of the most flexible online businesses for introverts, especially for those over 40 who have accumulated years of knowledge and experience. By starting a blog, you can share your expertise or your interests with the world while earning money through ads, sponsored posts or affiliate links. I recommend to choose a topic that you're passionate about and something that has a lot of demand, whether it's home gardening, personal finance or even health and fitness. For example, if you're a travel enthusiast, you could start a blog reviewing distinct destinations, sharing travel tips or discussing your favourite gear. With consistency, you can build a loyal readership that generates income. Blogging is mostly solitary work involving writing, editing and occasional promotion. You control how much interaction you have with your audience, making it a perfect business for introverts who enjoy writing but with minimal social engagement. Let's now move on to tip number nine which is online course creation. If you have valuable knowledge to share, creating and selling online courses can be a highly profitable venture. You can design courses on any subjects that you're skilled in, whether it's photography, personal development, or even cooking, and sell them on platforms like Udemy, Skillshare, or even on your own website. Online course creation allows you to work independently during the content creation phase. 
you can pre-record your lessons and sell the courses repeatedly without needing to interact with students beyond the occasional Q&A or support email. For example, if you're great at baking, you could create an online course on artisan bread making and sell it over and over. The great thing about this business model is that once the course is live, it can become a source of passive income. You'll only need to update or tweak the course occasionally, leaving you with more time to focus on other projects. Let me now give you tip number 10, which is a print on demand business. Print on demand or POD is a fantastic option for introverts who enjoy creativity but don't want to deal with inventory, shipping or customer service. With POD, you design products like t-shirts, posters or mugs and when a customer places an order, the product is printed and shipped by a third party supplier, such as Printful or Teespring. You can create designs around niches that you're passionate about, whether it's funny quotes, artistic illustrations, or niche specific themes like pets or hobbies. For example, if you're a nature lover, you could create a range of products featuring outdoor theme designs appealing to people who share your interests. The great thing about POD is that you only need to focus on the design and the marketing. Customer service and order fulfillment are handled by the supplier, which minimizes your need for direct interaction. Plus it's scalable, once your designs are up, they can generate ongoing income without much additional effort. Okay, so there you have it, 10 powerful tips that you can use. Now, the next thing to do to accelerate your learning even further is click the link in the description box below this video right now and go through to my website www.digitalprofitsnetwork.com and you can get instant access to our comprehensive online training courses and resources. These are fantastic resources and are perfect for beginners and people of all ability levels and will guide you every step of the way to starting your own successful online business and will also help you to generate an income online. So take action and check out that link right now below to learn more. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I can only help you if you are subscribed. And please give the video a thumbs up because that really does energize me to create more content for you. Thank you very much indeed. And don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. It's always a pleasure to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you for watching and supporting my channel and have a wonderful day.